The Trauma-Informed and Co-Occurring Disorders Program is part of the Community Services and Support component of the Mental Health Services Act. Community Services and Support is the largest component of the MHSA. This component focuses on community collaboration, cultural competence, client and family-driven services, and wellness focus, which includes concepts of recovery and resilience, integrated service experiences for clients and families, as well as serving the unserved and underserved. Housing is also a large part of the CSS component. Co-occurring is a broad category that recognizes the fundamental intersection of mental health and substance use disorders. These issues often seem to coincide and reinforce one another. Trauma-focused treatment acknowledges that unresolved traumatic experiences, whether as a child, adult, or both, predispose a person toward substance use as a means of coping, self-medicating, or dissociating. According to medical necessity and availability, eligible clients will receive trauma-informed co-occurring psychotherapy. This program adopts a whole-person approach to treatment. Most clients with co-occurring issues are referred to LCBHS through other community partners, such as medical providers, psychiatric hospitals, forensic sources, or social services. Clients can also self-refer. Clients are screened, evaluated in terms of severity and level of impairments, and placed in appropriate services. The common denominator amongst these clients tends to be poverty. Particularly, rural and remote areas are the least recognized and most underserved populations in California. The trauma-focused and co-occurring team served a total of five individuals in fiscal year 2021. Of the five individuals served, four were adults 26 to 59 years of age, and one was over 60 years of age. Clients are referred to the trauma and co-occurring team either by self-referral or from community partners. The team served a total of five individuals in fiscal year 2021. Of the five individuals served, four identified their race as white, and one did not report their race. The trauma team served a total of five individuals in fiscal year 2021. Of those five people served, one identified as female, four identified as male, and all five individuals served identified as the gender they were assigned at birth. Clients are referred to the trauma and co-occurring team either by self-referral or from community partners. The team served a total of five individuals in fiscal year 2021. Of the five individuals served, three reported having disabilities, one reported having no disability, and one either refused or was unable to answer. <laughs>